Hi, in this problem, we're going to simplify the square root of 24. Let's go ahead and go through this carefully. So to simplify something like this, one way to do it is to write it as a product of primes. So 24 is equal to 3 times 8. That's pretty easy to do. And 3 is a prime number, and then we can write 8 as 2 cubed. So this is 3 times 2 cubed. That's a good way to start the problem. So now let's go ahead and take our square root of 24. And we're going to write this again as the product of primes. So this is 3 times 2 cubed. And we just want things that are squared. So what we're going to do is, because we have a 2 cubed, uh, we want to write it as 2 squared. So I'm going to write this as square root of 3 times 2 times 2 squared. And the reason we do that is because we can take the square root of something squared, right? So this is going to be breaking it up, 3 times 2, and then square root of 2 squared. And then 3 times 2 is 6, so this is going to be square root of 6 times 2. But you don't want to leave the number in the back like that, because people might think it's inside the square root, so you want to put it in the front like this, 2 square root of 6. Went through that kind of quickly, but Again, you first write it as a product of primes, and then you want to extract the squared piece. So I wrote it like this. Note that if you multiply these, 2 to the 1 times 2 squared, you add the exponents. For example, if you had 2 to the 5th, you'd write that as 2 to the 4th times 2, and you'd write that as 2 squared squared times 2, and then you, you take the square root, squared squared square root of 2 and then when you take the square root of this you would just get 2 squared square root of 2 which is 4 square root of 2 and that pretty quickly but that's the idea is you basically want to write it as a product of primes in this case it was already a product of primes and you write it as a quantity squared because when you have something squared and you take the square root it's going to go away good luck